Hello everyone, welcome to my page. Hello again, Diecast World fans. And whoever's not a fan, now you will be a fan. <laughs> because I said so. I'm just kidding. Welcome to my page again. What I have for you today, it's a Mitsubishi Pajero Jr. Now, I said it in the Spanish accent, I do because we don't know, first of all, in America, we don't have these cars. This is an uh, Asian market vehicle. We had the Mitsubishi Montero, which in other countries, they call it the Mitsubishi Pajero. But, it's a Mitsubishi. Mitsubishi quality, which is really good quality. Now, this one here is made by Tamika. Is a 164 scale range and it's a great looking toy. I always give props for Tamika because they make great quality toys. There is a Japanese brand, and like I said in other videos, they usually care more into the Japanese models Mitsubishi, Toyotas, Nissan, Daihatsu, Suzuki's, Mazda, and others. This is a mini SUV. They're not very well known in America, mini SUVs, because we haven't seen one since the Suzuki um, Samurai or the Suzuki Vitara or the Chevrolet Tracker, which is, it was a Suzuki Vitara with a Chevrolet badge. But this is a nice looking toy. Let's go back to this right here. Look at this. Look at the details in it. I love, I love those two-tone colors. They really stand out to my eye. They makes it look more fashionable. And that's matte, that color combination is great. Now here, you can see the headlights are painted in a different color. Great, great point for Tamika. Because little details like that is what stands out into my eye. And I'm sure into other fanatics' eyes. We want to make sure that we're holding... A more realistic toy that looks like the real to, uh, car not something that is a piece of die cast that has only a shape of a car but beyond that you're trying to figure out what is the headlight from the tail light because you don't know what's the front or what's the back well these Toyo and these are uh, Tamikas you could they'll let you know because it's clearly noted and also the ride in Tamikas are super good Great ride, like you see how smooth these are. Really smooth toys. And those little details, like this one has that little uh, roof, um, I don't know, luggage carrier. Hey, cute. Uh, really nice. I guess that's how they sold them in Asia or wherever this brand was sold. Let's flip it around a little bit. Let's see what we got in the side. The two-tone combination goes through the whole car, which I really, really like it. This car is about to fall. Let's push it a little bit into the middle. And great looking details. Like you see even the side light, the, the turn signal there will go there. One thing I don't like about Tamika, you can always say the good and you can always find the bad. What I don't like about Tamika, they don't put side mirrors in their toys. One thing that, hello Tamika, take the two extra seconds and make it with side mirrors. You put so much detail into your toys, what's going on with the side mirrors. This is not the only Tamika that I've seen that. I've seen in very many others, and they don't do that. But, you know, they... That's something that we as fanatics and people that collect should bring to their attention. Because they're great quality cars. Come on. Look at the back. Look at that back. They put so much detail into it. That, that fifth wheel, you know, the tire, whatever you want to call it, the uh, spare tire. I know fifth wheel, we call that an attractive trailer. So don't mind me. <laughs> Uh, look at the the bumper blends. I mean, not doesn't even blend because it's different color from the the two tone uh, rest of the the car, and the headlights are different color. So you can see where it goes everywhere. It looks the quality and the 
time effort is there. I wish they had those side lot side mirrors. Come on. Make it look more realistic than what it looks already, which is great by the way. I give this car about a 9 out of 10. If they would have had those side mirrors, it would have been a 10 out of 10 because they made a real good looking toy. Smooth little toy. And quality is there. You can see it. Quality is there. I'm flipping it around. You can see the gas cap door there. And little toy. A beautiful Mitsubishi. I wish they would have sold this little Mitsubishi in America. But you know, they were in America, we all know. We are known worldwide for not liking much of a small cars. Even though they had their moments, whenever the gasoline goes up, the 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 um, like I was saying, whenever it goes up, the gasoline, those small car sales go up too. Then, like right now, the gasoline is not too high. Americans love their SUVs. Wait until the gasoline is $4 a gallon again. And we're going to be loving again those little Chevrolets and Hyundais and Kias and everything. Because we go by the price of the gasoline. <laughs> but anyway, hope you like my video. Click thumbs up if you like it, hopefully. Click the bell. Subscribe. Welcome to my page. Welcome to my diecast world, fans. Take care. See you in my next video.